Washington the reporter, and of course, my buddy Seth, the cameraman. Hi. And we're about to interview some kids who um, have some thoughts and ideas of about the iPad and iPad. Thoughts about it are that it's really fun. And it can be fun for all ages because, like, a four-year-old or three-year-old could draw on it, and they could feel happy about it without waste, without using up their paper or pencil, or having to worry about a pencil sharpener. And it could also be fun for ages above the, the younger kids because they could write down stuff, they could draw stuff, they could use, for instance, iBooks, and they could take a picture and use that picture and, like, say, math boxes, you could finish the math boxes. So I think it, it's, pretty, it's good for all ages. Okay. Thank you, Traven. You're welcome. So, um, Colton, what do you think of the ideas about the movable right? I think it's pretty cool because it's not like the notes app because that's not your handwriting, it's just typed up stuff. But in the movable right, you can also take notes with your own handwriting. All right, and um, Gavin, what do you think of the uh, iBooks? The iBooks is a good place for storage, like math, social studies, science, other stuff like that. And um, actually, it's really good. You can use it, use it with the Adobe IDs to make it more efficient. Thank you for your guys' input. So at the moment, we're watching Garrett our buddy Simmons. Garrett. Yes. As he is working the problem on an iPad or Adobe IDs. Okay. Why do you have to use Apple? Ah, zooming out. What do you guys think about the iPad? Um, I think they're fine. Do you think that they'd be much better than having the math books in school? Would you rather use an iPad or your math book? Probably an iPad. Why so? It's, it's easier. <laughs> what do you think um, in comparison with a laptop and an iPad? An iPad could do a lot later. <laughs> Christina, what are your thoughts about the iPad? Um, that they're great. Okay. Thank you for your guys' output. See you later. The iPads for math or a math book? iPads, because of the app Adobe Ideas. Because it gives you a place to more room to work. And actually put your thoughts on the page. Okay. Wow. Thank you. No the ideas you're kind of set there. Yeah. So it's better because you already have a scratch paper right there. What are your What are your thoughts about how the iPads evolved from the normal iPad into the iPad two? So you want me to ask about? It? We just want. We would just. What want do you I to, think of an iPad? Yeah. And I think the iPad. When it comes to an, when you, if you're going to compare an iPad to an iPad 2, what are some of the new stuff with the iPad 2 that the iPad 1 never had? The iPad 2 is about twice as fast, plus it has a camera, that's why you can film here. Yes. Right now. Plus you get iMovie, you get GarageBand, um, you do the FaceTime so you can do the talking to other people stuff, the Skype, which you guys have probably done somewhere else. That's the biggest difference. Plus it's cool. Yeah. I have one. I have two. <laughs> what I've noticed about the uh, iPad 2, after they made the GarageBand app, they made it for the other iPads, except it isn't a free app that comes with the iPad. Right. GarageBand and iMovie both cost money. Yes. But GarageBand used to cost 40 or $50, and now it's $4.99. Yeah, it's like $5. Did you download it? So, Jeff, what are you guys doing? We're doing Kino about Okay. Is this... Is this based off of Miss Sharp's presentation about the bullying? Yes. Okay. So, describe how you think Keynote is better than most apps. What's your thoughts about Keynote? Uh, it 
it edits it, and also while you're typing, it also shows the words. So if you want to go that, and also it's really good because it can make movies and you can flip screens and stuff. And it's just really easy. To do. Okay. Why? It helps me when I need, need to do different types of math, like my division when I don't really need a calculator. Okay. Yes. What's your favorite way to use them? To do math. Mainly math. Um, what's your favorite app and why? Words with friends. Personally? A lot of people should have iPads. Why do you feel that way? Well, we could do homework on them. We could do pictures on them. And the good part is it's saving trees and saving paper. Okay. So what's your favorite thing about the iPad? My favorite thing about the iPads is the touch screen. Because it's just somehow it feels better to um, actually touch something and know that you're doing something then to do, do you something. think that every single kid in the district should have one? Oh. Yes. What's the easiest part about having an iPad? It can do the math and stuff for you. Okay, what is your favorite part about the iPad? Um, the apps. What's your favorite app? Do you... Do you think everybody can benefit from the uses of the iPad? Yes. Why? Because um, it helps them like read and it can help people learn and um, it helps a lot of people. Okay, this is Aaron and Traven. They're working on their math boxes. We go into... Um, iBooks where we have our math stored then we transfer it into Adobe Ideas where we do our math. Thank you guys for letting us watch you. What are some of the educational benefits that the iPad gives you? Um, Safari and you can go on the internet and go on iExcel and there's a calculator and there's um, a lot of math apps too. Okay, so okay, what are some of the educational benefits that the iPad brings to you, Traven? Um, educational benefits, probably the calculator could, would be better for education because you don't have to like use like solar power or you don't have to check the batteries. And then there's always Safari too because you could go on IXL or you could look up any website that you could do on a normal computer. And then there's also Adobe Ideas and movable write where you could have your own handwriting or you could write your own math. Okay, do you think that some, this could help kindergartners learn how to read? Yes, I definitely think that it could help kindergartners read because if you, if there's an app for everything. So if you get an app that like encourage it, encourages them to read, well then They'll know, not only will they know they could do it, but you could also go on another app and you could you could read with them. Okay, what is what are some of the things that the iPad has taught you? Some things that I, the iPad has taught me is that anything is capable of technology. Thank What's you. What's your favorite part about the iPads? My favorite part about the iPads is playing words with friends. I can make really big words, and it's really fun to see um, whenever Mr. Mitchell can't make a good word, and he always says, Chelsea, I don't like you anymore, but he still adores me. Okay. What's your favorite, what's your favorite app on the iPads? My favorite app on the iPads would have to be Word Warp or Words with Friends. Do you think that the kindergartners should um, use the iPads more? Oh, definitely. Okay. Why do you feel that way? <coughs> well, like my little sister, she always goes on the iPhones at home, and it really helps her learn her letters and her sounds and her animals. And I think if they did that more at school, they would be more advanced. Thank you.